When I was in medical school, I initially thought I was gonna be a heart surgeon. And I realized I really didn't like doing heart surgery all day long. Um, so I started looking at other things. And when I was a third year medical student, my nephew, who was about three at the time, had to have PE tubes and an adenoidectomy. And my sister, being the highly nervous person that she was, asked me to come and sit with her while he was having his surgery. The doctor who did his surgery was just this nicest guy, and he said, have you ever seen this? And I said, no, and he said, well, come on back. So he let me watch my nephew's surgery, and it was very minor. It was just adenoids and tubes, but it was fascinating. It was the first time I'd ever seen surgery done with a microscope, um, and it was very interesting to me. Um, plus, he was a really nice guy. And so I did an elective in ENT and decided that's the path I wanted to follow. I do basically generally ENT. I have specialty training in head and neck surgery, head and neck oncology, and nasal sinus surgery. Um, but I kind of do generalist. I'm see basically kids six months and up. I see adults. I see a lot of mature adults, as we would call them, <laughs> um, with the problems related to hearing problems, balance problems, wax in their ears, sinus problems, runny noses. And then, of course, I see, you know, the standard cough and cold stuff. We get the sinus problems, the people with uh, chronic infections and need surgery, things like that. First off, one, I want to make sure they're comfortable with me and with the diagnosis. I try and make absolutely sure that when we say, you know, this is what's wrong with you, I try and make sure they understand and then make a rational description of why I'm treating them with the medicines or whatever we're using to treat their problem. As long as I think they understand not only what we're doing, but why we're doing it and how long I think it's going to get better, then I think that they are more accepting of the plan and usually have a better result. It's the people that I get to interact with. I, you know, I like the people I work with, which helps a lot. The nurses, the other doctors are very nice people. I enjoy coming to work every day. But the main thing is I get to see the patients and the patients, you know, I just have a few minutes of their time, you know, during the day, but you develop a rapport over you know many years of being in practice and you get to know people and know their families and you know it's a few situations where all of a sudden it's like someone will come in with a child and they'll say this is the picture you took of me when you did my tonsillectomy when i was five and this is my child i want you to take care of that's nice